A lot of people are looking to shed some weight and get more mobile this fall and are considering getting into saddle hunting. But one of the most common questions I've heard over the last couple of months is how long does it actually take to set up in a tree saddle? So I thought it'd be fun, come out here, jump in a tree, We'll set the timer and see just how long it takes. To run through the equipment we'll be using today, we're using Latitude Outdoors Carbon Speed Series sticks along with their X-Wing platform, and we're running the Method 2 two-panel saddle from Latitude. I'm also giving you a little bit of a sneak peek of the Kaza OV camo pattern from Numa Outdoors. It's launching this summer. I've actually been running it since this last fall, and let me tell you, it is incredible technical hunting gear. I think you guys are gonna really like it, so stay on the lookout for that. All right, I got all my equipment here. Aside from my bow, we're gonna do this just like it's the real thing. But before we climb this tree, do me a huge favor and like this video. It helps me out big time with the YouTube algorithm. All right, we're ready. The clock's gonna start the second my bag touches the ground, and then we'll be off to the races. All right, here we go. All right, I always set my first stick and I would attach my bow this time. Skip any steps, I always buckle my straps so they're not blown around. I have my sticks on my hip. Now we're gonna take out the lineman belt. That's gonna make sure that we are safe and it's also gonna allow us to be a lot more efficient being able to set up the remaining sticks hands-free. So here we go. And remove a stick. I almost lost my bottom stick because it wasn't actually strapped on there. That's why you don't rush. Second stick on. Now, I could go as high or as not high as I Feel I need to go. I very rarely use all of my sticks and all of my aiders. So for those of you wondering if you can get high enough with just four sticks, you certainly can. For these last two, I'm not even going to use the aiders. Looks like I'm already getting potentially out of view. And I generally make that call based off of what cover is around or branches on the tree. Oh, 
I think I might be right at the top of the frame here. So I could go one more stick. And we will. And just hope that one of the cameras is recording. But I want to make sure you guys get the full time and I'm not cutting short by not using all of my sticks. Or maybe here, this is what I'll do. There, I got this stick step. I stepped onto it. I'm actually just gonna take it off though, just for the sake of staying in frame, but that way I still spent the same amount of time as I would on that. So now we're at hunting height and I probably would be setting my platform from the bottom step. See that. And something I do just to have as much redundant safety as possible is before I step on my platform, I always lock into my tether. I'm gonna put that up there. So not my bridge. I can drop that bottom panel down. So now I'm at hunting height. And what I do with my backpack this is a trick that I've never seen anybody else do. And I just undo my lineman belt on one side, hook it onto itself. And then on the other side, what am I do with that? Hook on my backpack. So here we are. I'm getting ahead of myself. I would pull out my bow strap and keep in mind for this demonstration, I am not gonna set up any of my camera gear. But you need somewhere to hold your bow. So I have this strap here. Just an over center buckle, flap, flip that. I always wrap the tag end around just to get it so it's not blown away. And then I have a bow hanger. At this point, I would pull up my bow, I would unhook it, knock an arrow, slap it up there, and then I'm good to go. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long, and now I'm ready to hunt. For me personally, it takes me a lot longer to actually do this because I'm setting up multiple cameras in the tree. But I'm here, I can hunt all day long. I can rest with my knees against the tree. I have knee pads for that. But my backpack's right there when I need it. I can unload the rest of my gear. If I want it out of the way, I can lower it so it's not as much in my way. If I want it completely out of the way, I can put it around the back side of the tree. 
but I'm ready to hunt right here. Hopefully this was helpful. If you still have questions about how you could become more efficient as a saddle hunter, or you have specific gear questions, drop those down below in the comments. I'd love to help you out. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.